Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the Windows Settings app closes immediately upon opening or does not open at all on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in PowerShell, best match, or come back with Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video, guys. I want you to copy it. And then go up the top bar of the PowerShell window, right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Give us a moment here. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And I would recommend opening up the search menu now. Type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. One final thing, if you're able to, search for settings in the search menu. And then you want to select app settings on the right panel here. You also right click on settings and then open that up as well through that option. If you're able to get into the screen, you want to select reset. If the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select repair. And then if the app still isn't working right, you can try to reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select Reset. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. And then once that's done, go ahead and restart your computer again. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point you should be good to go. And as always, thank you for watching. Do pause it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.